Hi guys, so today I wanted to share some new items that I picked up recently, uh, makeup stuff and beauty products. Um, I went to Ulta because I needed to pick up some things that were kind of like necessity items that I considered necessities that I needed. Um, and then I also ordered some things from Sephora.com and so I decided just to kind of like, you know, do, do a little video all together. Since Ulta bags are so blah and obnoxious, I'm going to get that out of here. Um, Alright, so I kind of forgot what I got. I know this is fun. Well, I, I remember the things from Ulta because I kind of went for specific items that I needed. Um, but at Sephora, I also ordered some items that I, that I want, you know, that I specifically wanted. I kind of treated myself a little bit and picked up some different kind of splurge, kind of like spur of the moment fun thing. Before I go any further, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all of the wonderfully sweet and kind birthday wishes. I was like mega overwhelmed yesterday. Um, today's the 17th. Yesterday was my birthday. And it was just so nice, just from like Twitter to everywhere it was just amazing here Instagram everywhere it was just non-stop birthday love happiness so I just want to say thank you and um, yeah so um, I guess I'll show you the Sephora things first so I can get this box out of the way I haven't really even taken it out of the box um, I'll show you my samples last so this is what I really wanted um, this hourglass superficial waterproof bronzer. This is why I placed the order because I wanted to try this so much and I don't believe I've ever owned any hourglass things but if this is what it says it is it's gonna be very special. I like this it's kinda of funny this whole like the mirror I guess this would be really nice if you were traveling because the compact looks like this you know but when you open it you can kind of like take the mirror and pivot it back like that, which is kind of fun. Um, but anyways, I haven't tried it yet, obviously. This is a haul, so... Um, but the brush feels really nice. Uh, it, it looks looks really versatile. Like it could work for light or dark skin tones. But I want to see, like, I mean, I would show you, but you can't really tell much. But I really am curious to see the staying power of that. The whole waterproof thing is just fascinating. Um, I got some of this, the Dior Addict Ultra Gloss in shade 157. And I've been wanting this one. I've seen it before. It's pink. It has like a really pretty like pearl to it. And these are the pearl formulas. It says pearl. And years ago, one of the first tie-in things I remember buying for myself um, was a Dior lip gloss. And it was like really nude. This is very similar to what I have on. It's so much better and prettier. These aren't sticky either. I like that. Alright, so I like that a lot. I'm gonna wear that tonight. We're going out again for my birthday with my family. It goes with my dress. Um, then I purchased, let me go ahead and get some of this out of the box. This, this box keeps poking me and it's just odd. Then I got these Laura Mercier pencils which I've really been kind of, well not pencils, they're like eyeshadows. Um, they're the ca Caviar Stick Eye Colors. I got two shades. I really, you know, wanted a color that I could wear day to day. It looks like, it reminds me of like a MAC Shade Stick, but very soft. Like, I barely touched that, and like, it's insane how soft these are. But anyways, they're supposed to be, as far as I can remember, let me read the box, because I don't, um, I believe they were like creaseless. They're supposed to really be good as an eyeshadow base, but I just, I really liked it, and I like this, this brown is really nice, cocoa. And then I got this shade that's a little different, it's called Amethyst. These are pretty basic colors, I mean, like, even though this is, like, considered a purple, it's not, like, a crazy bright purple. I tried to wipe that off my hand, and it's, like, not coming off, so I will show you on this one. Really, really pretty. I just thought that would be really nice for every day. I got two more of the Dior... Um, nail polishes. This one's called Bikini. I loved the blue label, which I have sitting right here. I've been wearing this on my toes lately. I love this so much that I wanted to get uh, two more. So I got Bikini, and I got this one called Beige Safari. Kind of similar to the color that I have on. 
But um, I really love the staying power of these. I really liked how they, they just held up very nicely. Um, I love the brush. At least with this blue label color, um, it wasn't streaky with two coats. It was perfect. And then so with my purchase, I got some, um, some of this. Oh, this was something that they were doing like with a one of those um, special offers and I know on Sephora I believe you can always like where the promotion code is I think you can actually click it and it says like current promotions and I saw this on there it gave me the code to enter and everything it's a Guerlain mascara let's open it and see because it looks like it's well never mind I got excited and I thought maybe it was gonna be like a sample like that that had the mirror in it apparently that is just the full size one but regardless Comes in a little tube like that. This is a good sized sample. Ooh, I like the brush a lot. Oh my gosh, this looks just like the Eyes to Kill brush. So those are my Sephora purchases. And then um, at Ulta, I went because I was totally out, and I will show you just how out I am, <laughs> of my brow fantasy. Look how disgusting. I mean, it's not disgusting because it's fairly new. I mean, I've had it for a couple months, but look, it's like all gone and I'll sharpen down. And it sucks because you can never, like once this pencil gets to that point, it will not fit in the sharpener because that stops it. Um, so anyways, I got another one and like I said, these are just, I love these so much. They're great for just throwing in your bag, for traveling, um, because obviously you don't want to carry like a giant brow kit with you when you're traveling or anything like that. I just love it for every day. So quick and easy to use and the product's actually really great. I'm going to throw that one away. Um, it stays put really well. Show me the back of it. And, um, but yeah, I am going to be doing a video on a new brow product that's coming out soon. Um, I teased you guys with it on Twitter, so that will be coming up soon. A whole new brow tutorial with one of my kits that I actually keep on my vanity and use every day. Um, that's brand new. So, okay. And then the other thing that I really needed was my Age Rewind Maybelline Under Eye Treatment Concealer. I love this. It is amazing. Uh, you can see mine. I have a little bit left. I guess I thought I was going to run out of this quicker than I did, but I still have probably another couple weeks with that. But um, this is the best concealer for under eye circles ever. I've tried a lot of stuff and that is amazing. And I use the shade Fair. I had to check it to make sure. Um, and then I wanted to get another one of these Neutrogena um, Nourishing Eyeliner since I love the brown so much. I skipped the black because I have so many black eyeliners already. Um, I've been using the brown shade so much. I believe it just comes in these three shades. Maybe four. I believe there's like a gray, I think. Um, but anyways, I really love these. And I got the Twilight Blue shade that's like a dark navy. So I'm excited about that. And then I got this Tarte Multiply Lash Enhancing Liquid Eyeliner that I have been wanting to try. So I'll see how this works for me. I did test it and it concerned me because instead of it being like a felt tip, which it looks like one of those felt tip pens, like the MAC Penultimate or the Revlon Color Stay pens that I show, it's actually a brush, a really pointed brush. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see how I like it. I'm going to try it soon. Like I said, I haven't really even tried any of this stuff because it's a haul, and I'm just literally taking it out of the bags. Um, and then I got a couple of nail polishes. Uh, these were actually on the checkout counter as I left, and I totally got sucked in. But that's okay, because I think they're going to be good colors. Um, this is from the Hunger Games China Glaze little line that they had, and it's called Smoke and Ashes. Um, yeah, I bought it just because of the color. I mean, not because of it was like a Hunger Games thing or whatever. Because I don't really, you know. Um, but, yeah, it's really dark, and it has like pretty, like, almost like blue and green and purple sparkles. Really pretty. And then the Revlon um, Summer, some collection that they had for summer was sitting out and I thought these colors were so fun. This one's called Cafe Pink. It's just a really pretty bright pink. And I have another one of these long wear nail, nail colors that I really like. Um, so I know the formula is pretty good. And this one's called Coastal Surf and I thought that was a really fun color too. Um, so those are all of my goodies that I purchased. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.